airplanes have changed from what looked like kites to jet-powered airliners that can cross the Atlantic in three or four hours, all in the lifetime of some people still alive today. We have always looked up as birds flew by and wondered what it would be like to fly. Now, all kinds of airplanes are being flown as we do the things that we've dreamed about. Some people live their dreams of flying by building model airplanes and control them by radio. Various types of airplanes do different jobs. This one sprays for insects or drops seeds. Here's one that's used by the Air Force. This plane is used mostly for stunts. Here's one that can land on water. And come out on land. A helicopter is a type of airplane. Instead of having regular wings, it has wings that turn in a circle and so can lift straight up. This airplane is towing a glider. A glider is an airplane without an engine. After it is released from the airplane, its pilot must know how to use air currents to keep it flying. and to bring it back for a safe landing. Although there are many kinds of airplanes, all have certain parts that are much alike. Let's look at the main parts of this plane. The wings are shaped to lift the airplane when air flows over and under them. Here's the fuselage, the main body. Wheels for landing and takeoff. The tail steadies and guides the airplane. These moving parts turn the plane left and right and up and down. The propeller is turned by the engine. It is shaped like a wing or the blade of a helicopter. As it moves through the air, it pulls the plane forward. Some planes have jet engines instead of propellers. A jet engine sucks in air at the front. 
Then, burning fuel heats it and greatly expands the air. This hot air rushes out the back and pushes the plane forward. The pilot controls the airplane. He uses his hands and feet at the same time to fly the airplane. All these instruments show the pilot how the many parts of the airplane are operating. In large planes, the pilot is called the captain. He sits on the left. One or two other pilots help him run the airplane. The co-pilot or first officer can control the plane in an emergency or give the captain a rest. The engineer or second officer watches these gauges to be sure that the engines and other parts of the plane are operating smoothly. The pilot of an airplane has to be able to find his way above the clouds and at night when he can't see the ground. He does this by following airways. Pilots stay on the airways by the use of a compass that tells direction and by radios that tell him where he is. The pilot dials a radio station that sends out special signals. Then flies right, left, or straight ahead as the needle tells him. The special radio station looks like this. The radio signal guides the pilot to the station. These radio stations are located at all large airports and along airways between cities. In most large airplanes, the main part of the plane is used to carry passengers. Cabin attendants take care of passenger needs. Large jet airplanes may carry over 500 people. Everything possible is done to make them comfortable. to music through special earphones. On longer flights, they may watch a movie. Some kinds of airplanes carry only freight, small packages, and letters. This large load just fits inside of the plane. Less than six hours ago, this load was on the other side of the country. An airplane has several main parts. The fuselage wings, tail, engine, and propeller. Some have wheels that fold into the airplane because wheels slow a plane down. Some have jet engines. Some can land on water. An airplane is flown by a pilot or captain. He may have help from the first and second officers. 
the pilot often flies on airways and finds his way by the use of a compass and special radios. Airplanes carry people, mail, packages, and freight from one place to another in a few hours. They also quickly carry things all over the world. Any place on Earth is only a few hours away by jet airplane, making the world seem smaller than it used to be. Perhaps airplanes have helped us realize that we on Earth are one large family.